डिस्कस अबाउट कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मैटर इन एटमोस्फियर यू ऑल नो अबाउट एटमोस्फियर एटमोस्फियर मीन्स गैसियस इनवेलप अराउंड द अर्थ दिस एटमोस्फियर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस एंड फॉर अदर लिविंग बींग्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट प्रोवाइड्स सो मेनी थिंग्स such as it provides um, oxygen for respiration it provides carbon dioxide for photosynthesis it provides a uh, nutrient to the microbes for their survival you know this atmosphere has definite composition the clean air of the atmosphere contains 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and 0.03% of carbon dioxide this composition of the atmosphere is very crucial because we are used to of this composition if there is any change in the composition or concentration of gases definitely we are going to be affected for example i can take one example of oxygen oxygen concentration in the atmosphere in the clean air you can say is 21% and we generally breathe this much concentration of oxygen only if this concentration changes suppose if it increases then what will happen there will be formation of superoxide there will be formation of hydroxyl radical there will be formation of free radicals inside our body which are very toxic and may lead to the death so what's the need the need is to maintain the actual concentration of or you can say the actual composition of the atmosphere and this can be achieved by conserving our atmosphere but nowadays what we are doing due to ever increasing population there is a rapid industrialization there is a rapid urbanization and so a huge amount of air pollutants are being released and released into the atmosphere leading to the change in the actual composition of the atmosphere though the nature has natural capacity of purification or self purification you can say but what we are doing we are releasing the air pollutants into the atmosphere in such a amount which is beyond the limit of the self purification so we should apply some other methods also for the conservation of our environment and in this chain the first and foremost step is to make people aware means awareness once everyone is aware about their atmosphere definitely they will start thinking about the safety and healthiness of their environment and they will not perform or not do uh, any activities which are harmful for the atmosphere now there are certain technical methods such as absorption in the absorption process different soluble gases are absorbed by absorbing liquids or solids and thus they are removed from the atmosphere for example sulfur dioxide is absorbed by 3% hydrogen peroxide solution now second is adsorption in this process the molecules of gases or liquids are superficially attached by reversible bonds on the surface of solid and so by this way they are removed from the atmosphere activated carbon silica gel diatomaceous earth are some example of absorbents which we generally use for the absorption of different gases from the 
atmosphere. The third is condensation. Gases vapors can be controlled by condensation. The method is most suitable for hydrocarbons and organic compounds which are having uh, low vapor pressure at ambient temperature. They can be uh, controlled satisfactorily in water or in air cooled condensers. Next process is chemical reaction. The gaseous pollutants of the atmosphere can be controlled by chemical reactions. For example, sulfur dioxide can be controlled by reacting it with copper oxide or limestone to produce copper sulfate or calcium sulfate. Now, next process is incineration. It is actually a thermal oxidation process. Fumes burners operating under high temperature consumes combustible materials in a waste gas fed to the equipment. It converts hydrocarbons to carbon dioxide and water and halogenated materials to halogen acids. You know, often auxiliary fuel is required to be burned to heat the fumes to a sufficiently high temperature. Now, next one is particulate control. Various types of settling chambers such as electrostatic uh, precipitators and back filters are used for controlling particulate matters or particulate emissions. These devices are placed across the gas stream and the choice of the device varies with the efficiency as required. Now next is fuel change. A change to less polluting fuel gives an ideal solution uh, for atmospheric conservation. For example, initially we were using uh, fossil fuel. Then after that we shifted to LPG and now we are using CNG. Similarly, uh, in our bikes or uh, our automobiles we were using a high sulfur containing diesel then we shifted to low sulfur containing diesel and then ultimately to ultra low sulfur uh, diesel now presently we are using cng um, in these also so this is the uh, change of fuel by which we are going to reduce the pollution level now next is process change by the way of process change we can reduce the air pollutants which are being discharged to the atmosphere for example initially we were using two stoke engines in our scooters and motorcycles which were uh, producing a lot of air pollutants but after that, what we did, we shifted to four stroke engine, which are less polluting. And even today, what we are using, we are using CNG and electric vehicles to further reduce the pollution load. So these are the ways by which we can conserve our atmosphere or you can say uh, we can conserve matter in our atmosphere in our in my next lecture i will discuss about conservation of matter in hydrosphere thank you thank you very much